Hey, hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm gonna go through the top 10 mistakes people make when they're trying to accelerate a college degree. So if that sounds good, then let's dive in. Hi, I'm Ryan Swate, and I used to be a two-time college dropout, making just 12 bucks an hour. Then I learned how to hack college and earned an entire bachelor's degree in nine months flat. Subscribe to my channel and I'll show you how. All right, so without further ado, let's just jump in to all of these mistakes. The first mistake people make when trying to accelerate a college degree is they choose or enroll in the wrong university. This is a massive mistake. What people do is they go and enroll in school and then they decide later they want to accelerate and basically discover that the school they've chosen doesn't allow them to accelerate their degree. And the only way to accelerate is to cram more classes into a tighter schedule. That's not an effective way to accelerate a degree. So you need to make sure that you choose a school that actually allows you to accelerate your degree. And I don't mean just accelerate. I mean, can you earn an entire bachelor's degree in less than one year at the university that you're trying to attend? If the answer is no, it might be time to consider a completely different school. Number two is people choose the right school, but then they do it the school's way. And what I mean when I say that is following the study guides and following the lesson plans that the school gives you. Well, here's the thing. Good schools that allow you to accelerate your degrees this does not mean they want you to graduate faster. It's important to remember colleges and universities are businesses. They want your money. So they're not going to teach you how to graduate faster by showing you how to finish in under a year because they make less money if you finish in less than a year. So don't follow the study guides and the lesson plans that the school gives you. If you do it their way, you will take three, four, five, six, seven, eight years to earn your bachelor's degree because that's how their system is set up. The next one I wanted to talk about is using the university's learning resources, using their textbooks, using their teachers and their tutors and their webinars and whatever, everything that they give you to learn it's just a slow, old fashioned way to learn things. When's the last time you drove to the library and checked out a textbook to learn something? I've never done that in my life. We have the internet in our pockets. We can ask Google, we can ask Alexa, we can ask Siri, we can go to YouTube, we can go to online forums. There are much faster ways to learn information than sticking your face into a textbook, end of story. Now, the next mistake people make is actually really strange, and I see this a lot. It's a lot more common than you would possibly think, but people, when they start to accelerate the, their degrees, I see this all the time. They start accelerating, finish a few classes really, really fast, and then kind of do the math in their head and realize, holy cow, like, if I keep going, I can graduate in six months, and they get scared. People get scared because guess what? We're human. And when we graduate college and earn the degree, we then have to face what the heck am I going to do after I graduate? That's a scary thing to think about. What a lot of people do is they'll finish a handful of classes really, really quickly. They'll go do two classes in a week or a class a week for a month. And they think, holy cow, I'm going to graduate really fast. And they stop. They completely stop doing the work because they are afraid to face what happens after they earn the college degree. Here is the solution to that, okay? Give yourself permission to be afraid and to procrastinate, but give yourself permission to do those things after you graduate, okay? Get the degree out of the way, finish college, and then procrastinate, and then figure out what you're going to do. It's okay that it's scary push it off until later. Now, the next one is choosing the wrong degrees. People oftentimes just choose a, a degree that sounds cool. I want to go into psychology or I want to go into engineering or, or blah, 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 right? People choose degrees based off of 
kind of how we grew up. We grow up and we decide what we want to study in college when we're very young while we keep those same ideas in our heads, even as adults. The better way to do this, to decide what college degree you need to take, is what job do you want to get once you have the degree and what degree is going to get you that job, okay? And the reason I bring this up is a lot of people get dead set on a very, very specific degree and then they realize that that degree is not hackable and they can't earn that degree in less than a year. Well, they end up going to school for three years and they realize they're only halfway done and then they drop out and they're tens of thousands of dollars in debt. No, you can accelerate most degrees that can be accelerated can get you the jobs you're trying to get, okay? You just need to study it out, research what degrees will open the right doors for you, and then choose the fastest, easiest degree possible to open that door and get you that job. I hope that makes sense. Now, the next one is not choosing a regionally accredited university, okay? College accreditation is important. It is important. It's important to choose a school that meets the highest bar, the highest standards for education, instead of finding some random no-name bottom barrel school because they allow you to graduate faster. Here's the truth. There are tons of really, really highly accredited, very respected, even prestigious universities that let you test out of your classes, hack college, and graduate, earn an entire degree in six to 12 months, okay? Choose a regionally accredited school with a recognizable name that's going to be respectable on your job resume. Because if your employer sits down and looks at the school and it's some school no one's ever heard of and they go out of business in 10 years, guess what? Your degree is not worth as much. The next one is people try to clap their entire degree. And what I mean by this is there are third party resources that allow you to take college level exams and then you can transfer those college level exams to your university and get credit for taking the exam and you get to skip the class, okay? The most common of these resources are called CLEP exams, Sophia.org, Straighterline, Study.com. There are a, a number of resources like this that people like to use to earn college credit. Well, when people hear that you can test out of classes and you can use these resources, sometimes what people do is they go and try to use these resources to earn their entire degree. The problem with this is let's say you go earn 100 college credits using these third-party exam resources. Well, you're really, really limiting when you do that, you're limiting what colleges or universities you can graduate from because there aren't many colleges or universities that will accept 100 credits from these third-party resources. So if you want a respectable degree from a respectable school, you need to find out what their guidelines are for how many of those credits they'll accept and don't earn any more than that with using those third-party exams, okay? The next one I'm talking about, people basically enroll in schools that charge you for every credit that you earn. The problem with that is, let's say you do four years of school and you condense that into six months, you accelerate and get that degree in six months flat. Well, if you, if you do this through a university that charges you for every credit you earn, guess what? It doesn't matter that you graduated in six months, you still have to pay for four years of tuition. That's not really fair because you weren't actually using the school's resources for four years, so you're kind of getting ripped off. So what I like to look for are schools that charge you per semester instead of per credit. So you pay a flat rate to be enrolled in that school for a semester, but then they don't have any limit as to how many credits you can earn in that semester. Well, what happens is the faster you graduate, the less you pay. If you graduate in six months, guess what? You only have to pay one semester's worth of tuition and you save tons and tons of money, literally tens of thousands of dollars. Now the next one, people learn about accelerating college degrees and they just go for it 
and they shoot from the hip and they just totally wing it and they start going to take CLEP exams and Sophia exams and straighter lines exams and, and they choose a school really quickly and they don't have enough knowledge to make these decisions. And guess what happens? They earn a whole bunch of credits and then they try to transfer them over to a school and the school doesn't accept all those credits because they didn't map things out before they started. So if you're interested in accelerating a college degree, let's say you want to earn some third party credits and then transfer them over to a university that will allow you to test out of your classes. You need to map out which classes or which third party exams are actually going to be accepted by the university that you're transferring to so that you're not wasting your time. The last one I want to talk about, people go for this without asking for any help. Guess what? There are lots of people here to help you, including myself. If you want to accelerate a college degree, ask for my help. Guess what? I give free consultations. You can get on a call with me for 30 minutes for free. I can help you find the right degree. I can help you find the right schools. I can help you basically lay out a game plan so that you can succeed doing this. And then if you want my help long-term, it's really, really inexpensive. I don't charge a lot of money, okay? But at a very minimum, if you need help, I help for free, okay? If you need help, ask your teachers, ask your tutors for help. People just try to wing this and go for it all alone. And guess what? A massive, massive majority of people who attempt to accelerate college degrees do not meet their goals for how fast they're trying to graduate. In fact, most universities that allow you to test out of all of your college credit, literally allow you to test out of your classes, accelerate at your own pace, most of these schools have an average graduation time of about three years for a bachelor's degree. Yes, that's still way faster than the traditional six-year average for schools that don't allow you to do this. It is a lot faster. Guess what? People that work with me shoot for less than one year and succeed over and over again, okay? Ask for help and you will do this faster. You'll have the greatest chance to succeed. I hope that these 10 things will help you avoid making massive mistakes. If you'd like to see me do a full tutorial video on the three-step process of degree hacking, Basically, the entire process I use to accelerate my college degree, graduate in nine months for $200 out of pocket, I'll leave a link to that tutorial down below in the description. You can watch it for free, no strings attached. If you like this channel, if you like videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and you'll start seeing more videos like this. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you in the next video.